Hey there, I'm Thomas Michaud, and uh, I'm from Real Guitar School. This is my new guitar, showing off a little bit. My new Yamaha, it's kind of pretty too, huh? Well, anyway, back to business. In this video, I want to show you four forms of the A major chord in the open position. Now, each of these forms are useful, but you might find one of them more useful if you have big fat fingers. Hey there. So let's start off with the most basic form of the A. That's the three fingers. Take a look at my left hand. That's the first finger, second finger, and third finger, all on that second fret. Now, when you see this in a chord chart, it usually looks like they're straight across, but they're not. My first finger is actually quite a bit ways, a ways from the fret. Second finger a little bit away, ways, and the third finger right up there on the fret. They're angled down like this, almost 45 degrees. You do have to press hard enough to make them sound good. It works pretty good. This is by far the most common form, and I think it's the one most people learn at first. So we'll call this form number one. So let's go on to form number two. This is actually the one I use the most. It's just a two-finger form. I use my first finger to cover the fourth and third strings, and the second string, I use my second finger. You notice I got my knuckle up in the air there because it needs to come up and straight down. And then I buckle my first knuckle on the first string so I can make a little partial bar there. And then, of course, the actual second knuckle is up in the air. This is one I use very often. If you have bigger fingers, this might be the easier one to use. Now, mine are, I'd say, average, but it's just a form that I can get in and out of very quickly. We'll call that form number two. Okay, let's do form number three. This one, I use my second, third, and fourth finger, or pinky, rather. Now, this one is maybe okay if you have thick fingers because the pinky's a little smaller than the other fingers. So a little easier to get in. Again, it has that same angle as uh, form number one. My second finger is actually quite a bit away from the fret. The third finger is closer and the pinky's right up there on the fret. Not exactly on it, just right up next to the fret. By the way, you never put your fingers on the fret. That would actually mute the string a little bit. Just as close to the fret as you can get. Now, this is a form I often use if I'm going to need this first finger, like this. I need my first finger free to play the kind of partial bar that I'm doing. So that's form number three. And now for form number four. It looks like this. Take a look at my hand. I'm using my first finger. Oh, I'm sorry. My second finger, the first finger in the middle, and then the third finger. Now, I've seen, when uh, students have come to my school, I've seen them form the chord this way. And I don't try to change them. But I don't see any real advantage to doing this over the, the first form. It looks to me like, if anything, uh, it's just about as uh, equally as useful, maybe a little less so. I can't quite move around as quickly this way. But if you're doing it this way and it works for you, there's nothing wrong with it either. We'll call that form number four. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a like on YouTube or tell me you don't like it. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know how you like it. Or, and if you are on YouTube, head on over to my blog. Go ahead and sign up for my weekly lessons if you haven't already. But uh, I'd sure love to hear some comments on there too. Take care. Oh, I almost forgot. There's a cheat sheet on there. I put these uh, four chords on the cheat sheet with a little more comments. So download that too on my blog.